So I'd like to introduce the new DSX Utility Detection Radar. It's the latest radar from Leica Geosystems to join the radar lineup. Um, this is a different form factor than we had in the past. It's an extremely compact unit. We've reduced some of the weight um, and it's, uh, um, it's a very intuitive way of uh, being able to use radar to, uh, to visualize data more simply. If we look at the screen, the screen's a large screen. We can just compare that to the size of a cell phone to give you an idea of how it is. It's also a daylight readable screen, so it makes working in direct sun easier. And the screen's basically broken down into three sections. We've got the center part, which is the part that we, we use on a, a day-to-day -day basis, either do a new scan or we can open up a previous project. Projects are here on the right-hand side, so if we want to quickly go back to one of the last ones we collected, we can do here. On the left hand side, we have the animation video. So these are the tutorials that allow us to use the equipment very simply and very easily. So these videos just tell us the basics of how we set the system up. So these are like a one, one time use only, should we say. So the DSX setup video shows us how we unfold the product, how we connect the cables into it and how we get ourselves running within the software. We have the GNS antenna pole mount video, so this shows us how we mount, mount the GNS correctly, so we can use uh, the GNS and collect the GPS points of the utilities that we find under the ground. And then we also have the grid marking. So the grid marking is probably the most important video, as this is the proce process we have to go through each time we want to do a data collect. So to assist in this, what we have is this square. So this square allows us to accurately mark out the grid, okay? So it comes with the tool, we just unfold this grid, and we place it on the ground. And what this is gonna do is gonna define the baselines that we're gonna work from, okay? So drop it on the floor, and then this creates our corner, and we're gonna walk in a Y and an X direction using this tool. So let me show you how we use this on a project. So now we have the grid marked up. What we need to do now is, is the first step is to align the radar to, to the grid that we have. So if we look at the, the unit itself, it has red markers on all four sides and we have to align these with, with the baseline um, that we've drawn. So if we align it with the first line we have, we have to get the red marker at the front over the first line we're gonna push and we align the side of the radar, so the red marker on the side with the baseline. So now we have the DSX correctly aligned, what we need to do now is start the project. We're going to hit grid scan, which is beneath the new scan section on the software. And now we can give some information to the project that we're going to start collecting. We can give it a project name. We always give a default if you don't want to put one in. And then we have three other boxes which are all optional. So we can put the operator's name in, customer's name in, site. Uh, name, we can also put additional project notes in as well if wished and change the location of where we're going to save this project. So I'm just going to hit next to define our grid. Okay, so we're going to tell the software how wide this grid is. So we're 18 feet wide. Okay, and the height and the distance we're going to be walking is going to be 16 feet. Okay. And then we're just going to hit next. That's going to give us a summary of what we're going to do. So if we were working with GPS, for example, this will give us our GPS coordinates. We haven't got it currently running, so it's just going to come up with zero zeros, and it's going to oversize the grid for us. We hit go to acquisition. Before we hit go to acquisition, what we must make sure we do is switch the DSX on. <clears throat> so we hit go to acquisition, we connect it to the DSX, and now we get this overview of the grid that we need to walk. So the little yellow thing in the corner is our, is our DSX. We can change positions of the radar if we need to. So if there's um, something in the way, uh, such as a part vehicle, for example, we can navigate the DSX around it in the software, you know, like a Pac-Man, to correctly orientate it to get around such obstacles. And then we can hit start the scan. So if I just take the, it back to the very beginning, I've got no obstacles. 
I hit start scan and I push it forwards. Now I've completed the scan in one direction and now turn 90 degrees and I repeat go in the opposite direction. So now we've collected the grid, we can go and analyze the data. But just before we do that, I just want to make you aware that this isn't the perfect place to be using radar. We've got some quite large changes in elevation. We've got rocks, we've got gullies, and we've also got quite a lot of utilities down here, which is what we're expecting to find on the, on the DSX. So if we go and analyze this software, I know we've initially asked it to load the tomography for us we can start looking at what's, what's in the ground. So we're looking for like a pattern or a cluster of, of different things in the ground to give us an idea that we've got a linear structure. So I can see something here, the three feet mark that's running across. So what I can do is I can ask the software to go and say, is this a utility or not? Okay, so if I hit add utility, we draw the line in, it will go and say detecting utilities and it will go back and it'll look at the radar grams to say, is this something here, yes or no? If there is something there, we'll say utility detected, okay? Now, if we just look at the area, given by looking at the ground, we can see indications that that's probably gonna be an irrigation line that could be under the ground, okay? But we don't know for sure. So at the point here, we can say it's an undefined utility. We're not gonna define what it is. We can define if it's known. We've got some default options in there, sewer, telecom, water, gas. We can scroll through different ones, okay? And we can also give it a color if we wish. And it'll also give us an expected depth of 0.4 of a foot down as well. If we know the utility diam diameter as well, that can be put in. But I just hit add utility and it'll draw that line in for us, okay? So that was the first thing we saw and we know it, we're looking quite shallow because on the slider bar at the side, it's telling us that we're at zero to 0.6 feet. So we're analyzing that chunk of, of dirt, should we say. I can then carry on going through that data and see if we see anything else that's down there. Okay, so now all of a sudden we've got another cluster that's appeared here. So I'm gonna hit add utility again. I'm gonna draw the line in. I'm gonna see if the software says there's a utility down there or not. Okay, so if you find a utility again, the chances are that one's a gas line because we can see a gas meter on the side of the property as well. And again, it's telling it's about 1.3 feet down, but we're not sure where it is, so we're not gonna define it. We're just gonna say add utility. And now we've got those two utilities defined, okay? So that's one of saying it's 12 foot from where we started. So it's 12 feet from the baseline that we initially had, which puts the, the radar in this orientation. So what we could do now is excavate down to that line to show that it's physically been detected correctly with the radar. So if we go look back at the radar information that we got on the DSX, we can see that we drew the line and it was, it was saying 12 feet. So if we just go back and look at the grid that we drew, so remember that we drew these, these lines every 18 inches. So if we walk 
12 feet, so we're going three, six, nine, 12, and 12 feet from the baseline is where the utility has been found.